Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be taking you through an order to cash process, starting in Shopify, showing you the customer experience of filling a cart and placing the order, and then switching over to the back office, showing you that order uh, coming into Salesforce as a new opportunity uh, with an account associated to it, representing that customer. Uh, and that opportunity will also reflect uh, the product set selected in the Shopify cart. And then once that opportunity is set to closed one and considered to be sort of fully executed, that will push uh, information over to NetSuite as uh, a new sales order and actually create a sales order in uh, Salesforce as well, reflecting the uh, order information uh, that's been written to, to NetSuite, providing referenceability back and forth between both systems. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. And uh, before I start the process, just wanted to sort of show you here within Salesforce, we're working with a clean org. We don't have any opportunities or accounts uh, hidden up our sleeve. And so we'll go ahead and fill up our cart. So we'll select the Harmony Professional Edition and let's go ahead and add a process template to this as well. And I'll sort of circle back around to what a process template is uh, a little bit later on in this video as we talk about the Salesforce to NetSuite component of this integration. So I'll go ahead and fill in my sort of test payment information. And we'll go ahead and submit. And now behind the scenes, uh, Shopify is calling a Jitterbit API, which is attached to uh, an integration operation, and it's writing this new information to Salesforce. So if we go to our new opportunities, you can see we now have our Shopify order here with a dynamically kind of created opportunity name, uh, including the customer name, and you also have the account uh, associated to the opportunity record there as well. And you can see we have our two products, the professional edition and our process template uh, assigned here as products on the opportunity. If we quickly take a look at the account, you'll notice here that we have uh, a little bit of additional information uh, beyond just that which uh, was provided in, or captured rather in the Shopify order. Uh, here you can see we have a NetSuite account ID uh, and then uh, a little logo indicating here that this uh, a customer record has been written to NetSuite. So actually when it's recorded into Salesforce, it immediately gets uh, pushed over to NetSuite if it does not already exist. Then you can here, you know, see obviously the associated opportunity we were just looking at, and then uh, here that we have no orders yet assigned to this particular account or associated to this account. So back over here in our opportunity, let's go ahead and set this to closed one so that we can see uh, the rest of this process unfold. And now when we click save. Another process gets kicked off behind the scenes. Uh, and when we refresh in just a moment, we should see our NetSuite sales order uh, number populate uh, provided by sales, uh, excuse me, NetSuite, as well as our uh, NetSuite uh, ERP logo there as well. Uh, and then just to sort of uh, close the loop, if we take our new sales order number here and enter in our sales order number here, you can see we have a new sales order complete with customer uh, record associated to it and including our two uh, products as shown on the Salesforce side. Uh, and then coming quickly back into Salesforce just one last time. Uh, now, if we check back on our account and scroll down, we can now see that we have uh, a completed sales order now associated to the account, also reflecting, uh, of course, that it was uh, originated in NetSuite. And we have that uh, corresponding NetSuite sales order number available here as well on the sales order record. So uh, to sort of recap, end to end, we took a new order from Shopify. We wrote that into Salesforce uh, as both an account and a corresponding opportunity with uh, you know, product line items. And then once that account, or excuse me, once that opportunity was closed, uh, we moved that information into NetSuite in the form of uh, a new sales order and a new customer. So let's briefly take a quick look at what this looks like behind the scenes in Jitterbit, uh, just to give you a sense for how that was built. So here within the Jitterbit Cloud Studio, we've got our project view. And the first portion of that experience, the, the Shopify to Salesforce piece, was handled by this uh, first operation or uh, project, rather, with a couple of steps here 
to quickly kind of run through. In this first step, we capture the information from Shopify. And then down below it, uh, in a couple of sort of subsequent steps, we upsert the new Salesforce account based on that customer information, add the opportunity to that account, and then we loop through the items uh, in the order and add them as items to the opportunity, no, or products rather, I suppose, in the Salesforce parlance. And I mentioned before uh, a process template, uh, and that was one of the products that we selected in our demonstration. And what that is, is a little bit more kind of robust, fully uh, built out project that we're able to provide our customers uh, that already uh, handles a complete sort of business use case. And so in this case, sort of the quote to cash process between NetSuite and Salesforce that you saw syncing the opportunities uh, and the sales orders back uh, as well as customers, that's available in a prepackaged solution uh, built by our professional and, and delivered by our professional services team. So as you can see here, it's got some subroutines for syncing customers, syncing products, uh, as well as that real-time creation of uh, the customers as well as the new orders. So uh, in a very clean, simple to follow, uh, stepwise integration, we're able to you know, effectively and efficiently uh, bring those sort of disparate systems together and streamline uh, your back office process. So hope this was helpful and informative. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions or are interested in seeing more, please don't hesitate uh, to reach out to us or visit our website, uh, find us on social media, LinkedIn, et cetera. Thanks for watching.